Hi guys, Shashank here from shashankgupta.net. Welcome to Twitter Text Pro 3 Tutorial Part 7. In last video, Part 6, we have learned how to set direct message tasks, how to set list tasks, and how to set advanced setting tasks. In this video, we are going to learn how to scrape tweets and tweet links, how to scrape Twitter user accounts, and we will see overall Twitter Text Pro settings. Let's move to Twitter Tech Pro and execute the same. As you can see, we are in tool section and here you will get two options, scrape tweets and scrape links and scrape people. So we will see how to scrape tweets and links first. You get two options here, scrape from these accounts separated by a comma. You can put your user Twitter user accounts uh, whose tweets you want to scrape uh, using comma or you can use this advanced search settings which I have explained to you in earlier videos. You can uh, use a hashtag and use this setting so this program will scrape all the tweets which has using SEO has hashtag you also get these advanced uh, settings exclude the tweets with hashtag if you do not want to include it you can click this exclude the tweets with account mention exclude the tweets with links and exclude the tweets posted before a particular date if you, if you do not want uh, tweets to be uh, scraped before a certain date you can select this date and uh, select the date and click this option so right now I do not want to use any of these settings I'll just paste these two Twitter accounts search engine journal and search engine link and we will see how to scrape tweets and links so I'll click on start and this program will start scraping as you can see it has already scraped 80 tweets from these two accounts and 120 I'll stop this and we will see how to save this so first thing is you need to do is select all once you select all you can save links these are the tweet links which you can use for the purpose of retweeting it or you can favorite it uh, so these are the some use which you, how you can use these tweet links click on save links and you can save it Now the next setting is save tweets if you want to save these tweets you can save it and you can use it for your tweet purpose so this is how we will scrape tweets and tweet links after that you can clear it up using this setting now let's move to scrape people here i'll again put these two user accounts now here you can scrape following and followers both if you want to uh, check uh, and uh, scrape the twitter accounts whom uh, search engine land and search engine journals are following you can that, do that or you can scrape their followers you can use this advanced setting which says pause 25 seconds after uh, when the scraper has continued for 3 minutes so uh, i use this 3 minute as this setting you can use the same and let's start to scrape once I click, do you want to continue to search from last search position? No. And this program has started scraping. As you can see, the user accounts, search engine general, search engine land, and these are the accounts which uh, they are following. And these are the followers. So you, I will stop scraping here, and we have got 160 followers. You can again select all and save them now once when you are using it make sure you uh, remove duplicates as this person this twitter account is following both of them so it's good to remove duplicates you can save this and this is preparing data for you saving data once it is done it is saved in your folder you can again clear it by using this option or you can delete a particular user account if you wish to now this is about the tools and scraping settings of Twitter Tech Pro 3. Let's move to setting part. Here you get a spinning option. So if you have a use, uh, spinner chief settings, username and password, you can use this. And this will allow you to spin content while you are creating your task. Now let's check some important settings which are basic settings. Main thread amount which you can keep as per your requirement. 3 or 1 or 2. And sub thread amount, you can you, you set this as 
for your proxies the number of proxies you have now what exactly they are i'll show you right now i have made main thread is one and sub thread is five i'll save this setting and i'll go back in task and i will run this task once i click it you will see that all these three uh, main task i enabled and i started but only one is running here and with five sub threads so you can see these are the five sub threads so other main threads are not running neither this tab 3 or neither this online which means that i have set main thread as one that's why it is only running one main thread now i will go back here and i will change this to three and i will save this now i'll go back to the task and i will again start it now i'll click on start run the task now you will see that all these accounts all the three main threads will also run with five sub thread so the first email thread is running with five sub thread again you can see online is running with five sub threads and tap is running tap three is running with five sub thread so you, i'll stop this and i'll go back to settings so based on the number of uh, main task you have you can decide the thread there and how many proxies you are using based on that you can decide your sub thread amount and timeout setting 60 seconds is good enough user agent setting if you have uh, more user uh, mobile user agent or web user agent you can import it to a list or you can add it uh, manually using this setting and click on add then you can test that mo mobile user agent whether it is working properly or not proxy settings if you have a list of proxies first enable it and put it using these settings or if you have in a, a particular file you can select it through a file and save uh, test your proxies and save it you can also load your proxies from whitehead box if you have set it up there or you can uh, get your proxies through urls also i use this particular proxy setting as i have my proxies in, uh, in a text file so this is the setting about proxy let's check the next setting you can save your uh, backup your data every two hours or uh, if depending on how, after how many hours you want to save such a capture setting which is very important at times you get capture from twitter so to crack this you can use any of the paid service i use that by capture uh, you can put your username and password and save the settings for shortening the url if you have a bitly api key you can place it here otherwise you can use a tiny.cc service so this is all about twit attacks pro tutorial hope you enjoyed all the videos if you have any questions or suggestions you can use the below comment box also please check my blog i have lots of posts on twit attack pro and do subscribe to my youtube channel thanks